So if we dive even slightly deeper into um, Fidelis and DR, how does it differ? And how, um, when it comes to deep session, uh, sorry, the DTPI, how does it differ? Yeah, th thank you, Maria. So just kind of pick up where I left off. Um, I've got a, an example here of what this really looks like in practice. So um, as I mentioned, a lot of systems today um, our DPI systems. And as Paul mentioned, when you look at a SASE architecture, a lot of times you are getting um, log data, but you're not getting visibility into the actual data or the content of that data that's being transmitted across the network via the cloud, via your uh, SASE platform. Um, in there. So what does deep session inspection look like? Um, if you look at the actual screenshot here um, on the right, you'll see that um, I, I've got circled um, a decoding path. And that decoding path shows that we've got a uh, Samba file share. And within there, we have a multi-level um, archive file, different three different levels of archiving. And then within there at the very bottom, you'll see there is an Excel spreadsheet. So if you were to look at that and say, well, maybe that Excel spreadsheet contains sensitive employee information, financial data, um, something that may be a proprietary trade secret um, within there. We're actually inspecting the content of that spreadsheet. And so that's kind of why I like this screenshot because it pretty um, shows in one picture how we can get all the way down and then where we're applying that, if you look at a DPI system, it wouldn't open the zip file, it wouldn't extract the multiple levels of archiving, um, nor would it open the Excel file. It would just look at um, that first 128 bytes um, of there, and we do um, that analysis against there. But another point I'll make here that I'll probably reiterate um, later on in the webinar is as we do the analysis, if there's not a policy, whether there is or is not a policy violation, we're going to record metadata. So all the information we learn during this reconstruction and analysis, we don't discard that information. We actually perform a lot of analytics against that, um, and that's a big differentiator for us um, in the, in the, in the uh, cybersecurity space. 